Suppose this is a fiber composite material. The fibers are aligned like this in this direction and the matrix has surrounded the fibers. I have two important questions for you here regarding the Young modulus of composite material. Question 1. What is the Young modulus of this composite? Is it equal with the Young modulus of fiber or matrix or maybe the average value? And the second question is, does it make any difference if you want to measure the Young modulus of this composite in this direction or this direction? So guys, if you want to have a clear answer for these two questions, keep watching this short video then. Hi there, hope everybody is doing well. Today, we want to drive the young modulus of the fiber composite which is loaded in the longitudinal direction. So, what is the longitudinal direction actually? If the applied load is in the direction of the aligned fibers, then it's called longitudinal direction. Okay, all right, let's go ahead. We have applied, as you can see, the force F. So, this force will be carried partially by fibers and the rest by matrix, okay? So, we can write down This is the force of the whole composite. This one is the force related to the fiber and this one to the matrix. Now, we already know that stress equals the force over area, which means the force is stress times area. So then we could express the above equation, equation one, like this. Stress over whole composite times the whole composite area equals the stress over fibers times the whole of fibers area plus the stress over matrix times the whole area of the matrix okay so if we divide both sides of equation 2 by whole composite area then Now we have to define a term here called volume fraction which shows the ratio of volume of whole fibers over the volume of the whole composite and this equals the cross sections areas times lengths and finally the cross section area of fibers it means these areas over the area of the whole composite okay we can write the same thing for the matrix as well the volume of the matrix over the volume of whole composite equals the area of the matrix over the whole area of composite the area of the matrix could be written as the area of composite minus the area of fibers that means this area okay over the area of the whole composite and this equals one minus V. Now we can express the above equation, equation three, like this. The stress of whole composite equals the stress of fiber times V plus the stress of matrix times one minus V. Okay. All right. So under the assumption that this composite is isostrain then the applied force will make the same deformation and as a result the same strain on fiber matrix and whole composite it means we have assumed that the fiber and matrix are bonded quite well to each other okay then we have the strain of whole composite equals the strain of fiber as well as the strain of matrix so we divide the equation four by the equal strains then we would have So we already know that stress equals young modulus times strain based on Hooke's law for stress strain. So young modulus equals the stress over strain. Consequently, we could say this is equivalent with the modulus of elasticity of the whole 
composite this is the modulus of elasticity of fiber and this is the young modulus or modulus of elasticity of matrix finally we could express the modulus of elasticity of whole composite So, this is the Young modulus of whole composite, Young modulus of fiber, Young modulus of matrix, and phi is the volume fraction that I have already explained. So, I've tried to collect all the given information or let's say this derivation in one single sheet. Please take a look at it briefly and then come back here please because I want to tell you a nice summary to make sure that you're not gonna miss something, okay? So, as a summary, I would say normally the young modulus of the fiber is much higher than the young modulus of the matrix because the fiber is supposed to tolerate the load mostly. A fiber composite material is not an isotropic material. It means the mechanical properties of it depends on the direction of measuring. Longitudinal direction means if we load the fiber composite in the direction of alignment of fibers. The young modulus of a fiber composite material could be calculated with this equation. Volume fraction here is a phrase meaning the ratio of the volume of fiber over the volume of the whole composite. Thanks for your watching. Please subscribe for more lectures. Bye.